Hi, this is going to be a quick test. My first time testing the purity of a precious metal. I got my old military dog tag chain and I wanted to recreate it as jewelry. So I bought a three millimeter bead ball chain from an Etsy distributor. I know nothing about these people. I was kind of uh, nervous about it. It was uh, like 1200 bucks. For 14 carat uh, three millimeter ball chain at 28 inches so I wanted to duplicate the same aesthetic as military dog tag chain which is also about three millimeter ball chain so I, uh, I was kind of scared I never dealt with Etsy and I didn't know it was 1200 bucks. I'm like sending this to some strange person. I pulled the trigger, I bought it. Got a little nervous, so I, I backed it up and got a purity testing kit from uh, walmart.com. Came in in a few days. I've had the necklace for about a week, and now I have the testing kit. So I'm gonna test it. It comes with testing solutions, different, um, different levels of carrot, and a silver and a platinum testing liquid. Of course, I'm only going to be trying to test to see if I get the 14 carat that I that I paid for. Comes with the um, the testing solutions and a uh, stone, which you scratch the metal on to uh, create a line. I'll show you that in a second. It also came with a pretty strong magnet to test for ferrous, because precious metals are non-ferrous. They should not react to a magnet. Of course, that's the military style. <laughs> that definitely is a ferrous material. The gold necklace should not react at all to the magnet. I'm just running it down the length of the chain and it does fine until you get to the, the, the lobster claw. And I'm imagining that the spring inside the claw that keeps it closed has got to be a little small piece of spring steel. It's very mild. The, the grip is very mild on the magnet, not like, not like the uh, straight steel. It's very strong. It's just barely grabbing it, so I imagine there's going to be a little spring in there. So I'm going to give them a pass on that. I am going to test the the case of the clasp, the outer part of it. I'm going to test that for 14k. That should be 14k inside. There may be a small piece of spring steel, which is giving it that slight, very slight grab. So I'll be testing the clasp and a ball on the um, with the test solution. I'm going to try and run through this quick. I don't want this to be forever. Uh, according to their website, they give an example of a um, oh, an 18-inch chain and how many grams it was supposed to be at 14K. It was, um, it was 12, it was around 12 grams for the, the example they gave. This is almost 19 grams, which the um, basic math made sense at the length of this compared to the length of the example. So now to test the purity of the metal. You have a scratch stone. And it's very simple. You take the metal and you rub it on the stone until it leaves a line strong enough for you to see so you can test it. So I'm simply going to pinch one of the balls and drag it across, leaving a line of gold. That's the top part. The next one's gonna be the clasp. I'm gonna do the edge of the clasp, and the lobster claw, and ensure that that's made out of 14K as well. So now I have two lines to test. Using the 14K solution, which is the green bottle in here, Uh, 
brandy new. I've never opened it. All it takes is a little drip. They say to start out with 10K. I'm gonna just go right to the 14K. You just put one drip on each line and the the line should remain intact. The clasp is doing very well. My lines in the yeah, it looks like um, either one of them are affected by the solution, which tells me that they're at least 14K. So that's a positive test and a, a good product. I was really worried it was going to be less than what I, uh, I paid for. Now this is reusable. You can use this over and over and over again. Just wash off the gold dust and the solution, dry it off, and you can do another piece. So if you have... Um, you know, if you have a drawer full of jewelry and you're not sure how legitimate it is, you could t you could do this. This was a twenty dollar kit. Came with the magnet, the solution, and the stone. Pretty simple. And that's a big fourteen k for for Daddy O. Ciao.